Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the new Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlight in Peau de Rose. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. And yes, I did in fact finish my iced coffee this morning before I started to film. I needed the energy. All right, let's start off with some basic information. This is the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. This is the third installment in the series. As I mentioned, this one is called Peau de Rose. It has more of a peachy, rosy finish to it, and this beauty retails at 98 Canadian plus tax. The two other colors available in this series are Peau de Soleil, which is a warm bronze gold, Peau de Pêche, which is a soft pearlized bronze suede, and now last but not least, we have Peau de Rose, which is a soft warm rose color. And also you get four grams of product in the compact here. So a little bit about Westman Atelier. I know I've mentioned this brand several times on my channel, but Gucci Westman, who is the founder of this brand, is a makeup artist and she created the Westman Atelier line. Now Westman Atelier, the whole aesthetic or the whole theory, I should say, is a no makeup makeup look. So a minimal amount of products to help create a natural your skin but better type of effect. And it's also a brand that does clean beauty. So on their website, you can read off the ingredients. They tell you what they put in their products. They tell you what they don't put in their products. So this brand doesn't do animal testing. There's no gluten. There's no mineral oil. There's no parabens, all of that stuff. So while there's no animal testing, not every product of theirs is vegan. I think most of their makeup is vegan, but there are a few that are the exception including, I believe, these highlighters. So for example, this Peau de Rose tinted highlighter here does contain beeswax, so it's technically not vegan. Also, something important to note, the packaging here does come with a little pouch and it is absolutely beautiful and I love it. However, I think this might be leather, but I can't really tell. And on the back of the box here, it says that the highlight itself was made in Italy, but the pouch was made in China. So I don't know if this is real leather or not. I'll see if I can contact the company and maybe I can get a response. And if I do get a response, I will include it in the description box or maybe I'll just pin a comment to let you know what I find out. Let's go ahead and just read off a little bit of the claims and description of this item here. So the Super Loaded Tinted Highlight is a beautiful highlighter cream that delivers luminous warmth in universally flattering shades. A soothing, easy to apply, multi-purpose polish for eyes, cheeks, and face. So this is a cream product, but when you manipulate it, it almost feels like this really silky cream to powder texture. I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo here with you guys. And I found the most success by applying this with my fingers. I tried different brushes, but for some reason, just using your fingers worked best for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a highlighter. I did apply some blush because I needed something to look, you know, alive, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply it over here. So you use one finger to pick up the product and then you use a separate clean finger to blend it out. So when you first apply it, it does look like this warm toned rosy color and then you can just go ahead and blend it out to make it look a bit more diffused. Since this shade in particular has this warm rosy hue to it, you could use this as a blush as well if you wanted to. I think it depends what type of blush that you'd like, but as you can see, it does create a nice luminous rosy effect. I'm gonna go ahead and just place a little bit of this on the lid here. So while this product is multi-purpose for 
blush and highlighter as well. I think on my skin tone, it's definitely more of a highlight with this warm, rosy undertone. I think it would depend on your skin tone how multi-purpose these are. I think that it just looks like a really beautiful cream highlighter. It doesn't look like a pink splotch, you know what I mean? It really just melts into the skin and just provides such beautiful effect on the skin. As an eyeshadow, I just like swiped it very lightly. It's okay. I think it's really just for like a no makeup makeup look if you put this on your eye. If you want to just like a weekend makeup look, you could take this and just put a little bit just to add a bit of brightness and make you look a little bit more awake. And something I wanted to point out, there is a slight scent. I think it's the beeswax because beeswax is an ingredient in here and it wasn't until I read the ingredients list that I, I noticed the beeswax scent. So the scent is really not prominent, it's really not until you stick your nose in it and smell that you notice it, but since I do these reviews for you guys, I try to think of any and all questions you might have and this does have a slight scent, but it's really, really light and you don't notice it until you stick your nose in it and you don't notice it when it's on your face, you don't notice it when you open it up or anything, and it smells like a very natural beeswax scent. It's not perfumed by any means. I'm just letting you guys know just because. So I know that they have two other highlights available. I do not have them, so I can't compare, but I really like this one here. So I decided to do some comparisons with some other pink highlighters that I have. I used the Dior Backstage Highlighter Palette, and I specifically swatched the pink shade, just so you could see side by side how it might compare. And then I went ahead and used the Chanel Le Blanc Rosy Light Drops as well. And I just swatched them side by side so you guys can go ahead and see and judge for yourself how they might differ. So as far as the packaging goes for this highlight, I absolutely love it. This compact is so heavy. It feels so weighty and so luxury. The packaging is almost identical to the lip compact, the lip suede that just came out. I love the black shell outside with this shiny gold detailing. I think mixing the gold detailing with this pink cream highlight is absolutely stunning. And just so you guys know, this product does have a lifespan of 18 months. So once you get it at home, once you open it, you should use this up within 18 months. After that, it is technically past its expiration date. So I will go ahead and include a clip of my makeup several hours later, just to show you how it wears down. I have been wearing this for several days. I've been testing it out and I can say that this holds up beautifully. It is such a beautiful product. It is very luxury, it's very expensive, but it's really nice. I find that it wears really lovely throughout the day. The amount of shine and luminosity maintains, it doesn't fade away, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't blend out, it kind of just stays put. Once you tap it into place, it stays there. And it also works well with other products. Like I have a foundation and concealer on, and it doesn't break up the concealer, it doesn't break down the foundation. Even though it's a cream product, it works very well with others. I just really like Westman Atelier. I like the aesthetic of the brand, I like their packaging, I like their theory behind a no makeup makeup look using minimal products. I also like that they use clean ingredients and don't do animal testing and are mostly vegan as well. And so whenever they come out with a new item, I'm always excited. I'm always just intrigued to see what it's going to be. And this one did not disappoint. I think it's really lovely. It is expensive, but this is a luxury brand. It's a clean luxury beauty beauty brand, so the price tag comes with it. If you don't mind using cream products, because I know a lot of us have the default of using powders because they tend to be easier to work with, but I find for myself, when I put the effort into using cream or liquid complexion items, they tend to look more natural, more youthful, and more dewy. So if you are willing to make that effort, I think this is totally worth it. All right, guys, I think this about does it for my roundup review of this Westman Atelier Super 
overloaded tinted highlight in peau de rose let me know what you think down below have you tried any of these highlights below have you tried the two previous ones so if you guys are new to my channel i talk about nothing but luxury beauty i do lots of reviews and tutorials and whenever i get a new collection i will create several different looks with the same items that way you guys at home really get a sense on how to use up all of your makeup and i have a new series on my channel called beauty history where i dive into the history and legacy of different fashion houses and makeup brands and they are really fun they're just really entertaining to watch and to listen to so if you've ever been curious about different fashion houses or makeup companies that you use every day i highly recommend watching the beauty history series all right i think that's about does it for today's video Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.